I've seen Dortmund beat some of the world's best. I've seen Schalke secure promotion to the top league, but I have never seen these two massive clubs play against each other. Welcome to the Revier Derby in the North Rhine region of Germany. The last time Dortmund won this match with a full stadium was 2015. Yes, 2015. And due to this long pause, the fans have been itching and scratching to face each other again. So I expect something really intense. How will this compare to your average derby in English football? Will it be the most fierce match in Germany? There's no more time to waste. Time to grab this train from my home to Gatwick, pass some stunning central London views and board my flight to Amsterdam. Yes, I know what you're thinking. We're traveling to Germany, just trust me. What a sunset that was, by the way. Over the North Sea, past the Johan Cruyff Arena, and we have touched down in the Netherlands. Now we will take a four hour road trip with my good friend Bernard. We are in Netherlands, so of course we have to eat a Dutch snack. It's called frikandel. Yeah. And we eat it, of course, with some mayonnaise. You've already got some mayonnaise in. And now the curry. Is this curry sauce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Curry sauce, mayonnaise, and frikandel. Let's go. <laughs> That is lovely, and it's so simple as well. 9.2. No way. Because I can eat that any time of the day. Welcome to the Netherlands. Cheers. But it's time for one last sleep. I know you. Darling, you. Look at the focus on this guy's face. He needs to get us there. <laughs> How are we doing, bro? You good? I'm a bit tired still, but I'm very excited for this one. What is going on here? Is the D for Germany? It's Germany. Bro, where's the passport control, man? We don't have it here. You see, with Brexit, it's not the same anymore, man. <laughs> There's only one man we have to see. Bring it in, bro. It's birthday. <laughs> it's Derby Day. This man's been waiting for a full stadium since 2015. <laughs> Schmelzer! <laughs> What's going on? So I've gone around to Oliver's here. Look at the collection. Look at this. Old retro shirt. The scarves. We were in Berlin. We were together in, in Hamburg. We tried something special. Hope you enjoyed it. Well done. One million subscribers. This is for you. Here we go. Ah, oh, it's got my name on the back. Look at this. Number one million retro Bolton shirt. Oh. <laughs> I haven't got this one. That is amazing. Yes, that's, uh, that, that was my Look, plan. That is incredible. Fogged in one million. Oliver, you're a legend, bro. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much. Even the boiled eggs, Holder, Dortmund. Black, everything black and yellow today, yeah? Yes. It's a big day, right? Yeah, it's um, a little bit nervous. Um, you never know what's going to happen. I go for a 2 0 win. 2 0 win? <laughs> uh, Marco Reus and uh, Anthony Modest will score today. I reckon Dortmund 3 and Schalke 1. Oliver, <laughs> Bernard, it's time for my prediction. Okay. It's going to be 3 2 Borussia Dortmund. Compare it to English derbies and number two, see if it's the biggest and most fierce derby in Germany. It's Derby Day. Let's go. <laughs> The march begins. Bro, this is absolutely nuts. Let's get it there. This is something else. We are like three, four hours before kickoff. The whole city has been shut down for this game. Oliver, does this happen every game? What, what's going on? Um, it's. It's always happening when we have big matches. Yeah. So for the derby, always. Lots of police everywhere. They, uh, Every step of the journey. What's going so on? So a lot of fans are now running to yeah. intercept the Schalke fans who are arriving at the Hauptbahnhof. 3-1 win. Confidence. Yeah, yeah. Predictions? 3-0. 4 0 The hype. The hype. This is Germany for you. We're like maybe a third of the way to the ground. We're just trying to soak in the atmosphere as much as we can. This is my first derby experience. Thank you. 
10 minutes until we get to the stadium, the march has been incredible. The fact we're so many hours before the match and they're still creating this atmosphere from the center of the town to the stadium. Honestly, for me as an English fan, I'm finding it bonkers. <laughs> Under the tunnel, the final walk before we get to the stadium. There's pyro, there's flares, there's colour. This is beautiful. That march is getting a five-star review. Simple as, loved it. We're here at the stadium. March complete, time for a beer. Three 0 Dortmund. Three 0 We found a blue fan, Schalke. I hope to get a one-one. All the Schalke fans preparing to enter the away end into the Signal Juno Park. I love the struggles. Oliver always takes us here. And today, we're here one hour 30 before kickoff. We've already seen it all. We've had a Schalke fan in, we've had Dortmund fans, we've been to the march. Now we need a trusty beer. Let's go. When you're in struggles, you don't disappoint. Amazing. Is one for me? Yes, one, one is for you. This is. We always come here, same place, every time. We're at a Dortmund match. It's a tradition with Oliver. Cheers. Cheers. Lagery, tasty. 8.1. Here comes the Schalke boss, one hour before kickoff. I'm so excited for this one. The stadium is buzzing. It's a yeah. beautiful stadium. The Gelbe Wand is ready. We are ready. Let's go. Okay, we're in. We're in. This is 45 minutes before kickoff. The yellow wall is absolutely packed. Beautiful. Schalke fans over there. Yellow wall completely packed 45 minutes before kickoff. I think it's fair to say when we're in England and we're about 40 minutes before kickoff, you never see a full stand. Look at the yellow wall, 40 minutes to go. That is nuts. That is mental. Buzzing. And um, yeah, we we we're at and see what's, what's going to happen. I'm confident. We had the march to the city and it was nice. It's absolutely crazy. Everyone is waiting for this match. I would say 2-0. Uh, 2-0? Two, two yes. 3-0 for us. And how good is the atmosphere? It's amazing. It's the best in Europe. Signal 
Junior Park. You start to get your form back, you get injured. Every time, it felt like that's Marco Royce's career. He had so much potential. Nil-nil in the 29th minute. No goal so far, but a great atmosphere. It's a bad injury, a very bad injury. It's a real shame, isn't it? It's... What a player. Moments after what we saw when the player got injured. That would have been special. Can he drive with it? He can find Brandt. That's brilliant. Oh. The yellow wall in full voice as the ball comes in. Oh! When will Modest score? Second half, 89 minutes. Just before half time. Squeals from the yellow wall as the ball comes in. And it's gone. Half time here at Signal Aduna Park. Oliver always delivers. Look at this man. Which one's for me? The great thing about football in Germany, you get a beer at your seat. Feels illegal. I'm loving it. Shades on, beer in hand. Can't complain. Everybody is jumping. begins and continues to be top notch. First half, second half, the yellow wall, the Nord curve. I mean, this is a special match. This is the one. Grant. Reina. Donny Mallon for Adeyemi. Adeyemi, that wonder kid from Salzburg. Jaden, come back, please. You need Jaden Sancho, yeah. And Erling. Yeah. Thank you. This could be his one chance. Just two minutes left until full time. Countdown is on. 55 seconds left until your Derby Day winners. Yes, please. Full time at Signal Aduna Park. Yes. Dortmund won. Schalke nil. Deserves the win. Deserves the win. Absolutely. Shalka with their fans. Still singing. And here comes Dortmund. Arm in arm the players are. atmospheres in the world. 25,000 fans in one stand, all singing together. You could barely hear me. Revere Derby Day complete. Dortmund and Schalke, you guys are crazy. And actually really nice people from the march at the start of the day to meeting you guys and going to the game and experiencing what it is all about, that was special. When Mukoko scored, there was limbs. This is one of the best derby days I've been to in Germany and also in Europe, to be honest. And what you don't get in England is the fans going to the ground inside the stadium two hours early, setting off pyro and flares. This is what it's all about. This is why I come to these matches. So share this with a friend, smash the like button. If we get 10,000 likes, I will come back to Germany for another derby day. That's it. Comment below where I should go next. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.